This one is a little bit of a weird one because it's not the proper way of doing things, but sometimes you need that fast, dirty way to do things. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to squash this model. So connect objects and delete. So we've got this drone. Not necessarily very high poly, but it's just a little background element that will be floating around in some scenes. So what we want to do is we want to go to 3D paint. This is the simplest way to get a model unwrapped. So we just want to enable the 3D brush, hit this little body paint wizard, pick the model that we want, which is this one. We leave it as is, keep it um, single material mode. Then this is where we change this to about 4096 and we change the quantize to one. And then we just hit finish. This, if you're going to do what I'm going to do anyway and throw this in Substance Paint, it really doesn't matter what resolution it is. It's just making sure that it fits on a square. This is a great model to test it on as well because there's a lot of overlapping geometry and it's really ugly and hard to do this sort of thing slowly, painfully in the proper way. So a good way to test it then is to just click on the normal brush, make it quite big, and then let's just paint on it and see how it works. So that's not perfect, but it's good enough to be able to start painting in Substance Painter. If you've got time and you've got a lot of people working on a project, then by all means do it all properly. But sometimes as a solo artist, you want some quick ways to do things. So just pick 4096 and then we'll select our model. FBX I exported, I forgot to show that and then don't need to use the auto unwrap. This equally works as well, but sometimes it's a bit naff, so that's why I've gone through the Cinema 4D process. Plus, you've got the UVs, you can then adjust them and stuff as well in, in Cinema 4D if they're not working. But there's millions of tutorials on that. This is literally just a dirty way. So we import our model, and we can literally start painting. Well, first we need to bake the maps. So if we just go to edit, bake mesh maps, change this again to 4096 and bake material. This will help if you're using smart filters and stuff like that. Right. Um, so we can literally just start painting onto the model. However, let's use a smart filter. So we'll use is still paint. If we drop this on, we've got this cool looking thing. And then what else we could do is if you wanted to just do some of it black as well, we could just chuck a black on. Actually, I don't like that. We'll use this and then make it black. So we just jump in here, change the base color to black. And then what we can do is we can use this filter and create a mask. So we can paint all this black. So this is just using the black part. Um, when painting assets like this, actually sometimes it's okay to just go over the edges. Um, it really de obviously depends. If you want it to look like it's been spray painted, for example, it doesn't matter that red leaks into some of the areas. The drone isn't red in the film, but um, just for this example, obviously, it's fine to just do it as is. I won't do it all either, but just to show you and give you some idea. So now that's our model and over here is the UV. So like I said, it's you can tell it's dirty because look at all this junk. It's still done a, a fairly decent job and it's paintable. So I hopefully found this um, tutorial useful and I'll catch you on the next one.